All right, today we're going to do experiment two, which is the determination of percent sand in an unknown mixture of sand and salt. All right, so this is a very simple experiment. We are going to add water. The water is going to dissolve the salt. We're going to put the salt water in a larger 400 mil beaker. Uh, and then the sand will remain in the smaller 100 mil beaker. All right, and then when we are done, we are going to weigh our dry sand. We're going to have to heat it to dryness, and then we will have the mass of the sand. So in order to find our percent sand in this unknown mixture of sand and salt, we take the mass of sand, divide by the mass of the unknown, and multiply by 100. To find the percent salt, we will take the mass of salt, divide by the mass of the unknown, times 100. All right, and since there is only sand and salt in this mixture, the percent sand plus the percent salt, when you add these percentages together, they will equal 100%. And so we are going to begin our experiment. All right, and so we have our sand salt unknown. All right, so we have our unknown mixture of sand and salt. Uh, you can visually look at it. Uh, the salt is, is white and the sand is also white. So it is very hard to uh, determine the, uh, if there's more sand or salt. All right, so we are going to have to calculate it. All right, so I have three beakers. All right, and I've labeled them. This is beaker number one. In pencil, I wrote a one. This is beaker number two. In pencil, I wrote two. And this is beaker number three. Very important to label your beakers to make sure you do not get them mixed up. All right, and so we are going to weigh our beaker. Beaker number one. All right, and so beaker number one has a mass of 46.3066. All right, and so it says to add about two grams. So I'm gonna add this until it says about 48. So this one has a mass of 48.1863. All right, so that is in the range of 1.8 to 2.2 grams. All right, and to that we're going to add 15 mils of deionized water. Probably for 15 mils, I'll just take the lid off. And it says approximate, so I'm not going to measure it that accurately. I'm going to put in about 15 mils of deionized water and put it in there. Uh, and then we will get our stirring rod. Uh, we'll make sure our stirring rod is wiped clean. All right, and then we will stir this. And so all of the salt is dissolving in the water. The sand will not be dissolving in the water, so the sand is staying behind. All right, and so we can see that it is not 100% salt because there is plenty of undissolved solid. All right, and while we let that settle for a minute, uh, we are going to do beaker number two. 
Alright, so we're at zero, put in beaker number two, beaker number two, the mass of the beaker number two is almost exactly the same, 46.3067. Wow. All right. All right, so now um, say that again, make sure, let's see, let's zero. Seven. Now we're going to add that till again. It's about 48.3. All right, so we are at 48.4206. 48.4206. All right, and so we don't have to worry about getting that mixed up because I have that beaker labeled as number two. All right, so we will add 15 mils of deionized water to that and let the salt begin to dissolve in there. All right, so here I have a beaker that I'm just going to put the salt water in. All right, and so it's been stirred. All right, all the salt that's going to dissolve has dissolved. And so we're going to decant. And that means we're going to put our. I can't see what I'm doing. All right, I'm trying to do it this way. All right, so uh, the stirring rod is going to help the sand from coming through. We want all the sand to stay in the small beaker. We want the salt water to all go into the large beaker. So we want to, I'm putting the stirring rod up here, this is called decanting, just so that any solid that tries to escape is going to get hit by the stirring rod and remain in the small beaker. All right, so I'm just wanting to get the liquid out and leave the solid behind. All right, I want to make sure all the solid stays in. All right. All right, so that was the first one for that. And now the second one, put in 15 mils, a fresh 15 mils of deionized water. Stir that up. All right, we're going to go to the third beaker. Beaker three, which is different than the first two, so it should have a much different mass. Uh, it is 50.5443. 50.5443 grams. All right, and so we want to go until this says about 52.5. And so I'll add the unknown until it is 52.5 ish. So this one is at 52.4700, 52.4700. And I will add 15 mils of deionized water to that one. Again, the amount of water is insignificant, so about 15 mils of water. All right, so this is back to our beaker number one, and we're going to decant again. Again, all that means is the salt water is being removed, and the solid sand is staying in the small beaker. All right, and then one more time for Beaker number one, put in another 15 mils of deionized water. We are making sure that all of the salt has dissolved in water. All 
All right, so all the salt is dissolved, all the sand remains in the small beaker. All right, and then our final decanting for beaker number one. All right, now we cannot weigh this and say this is the mass of the sand. This is all wet. This has a, also a mass of water. All right, and so over here we have a hot plate. And I'm going to put the beaker on the hot plate. All right, so the beaker is here on the hot plate. Uh, and it's going to then uh, boil out all the water. We want to make sure that it's not too hot. We don't want it to uh, pop any of the sand out. If it gets very hot, the, uh, the evaporation of the water uh, can boil and start popping and it's doing a little bit of popping right now. We don't want the sand to pop out, so I'll turn the Dial down a bit and go to our number two. Our number two is ready for decanting number one. Let's get a different stirring rod. Doesn't matter. All right, so the stirring rod, now we can use the same one. So uh, the same stirring rod is fine because we are just putting all of the salt water into one beaker and all of the salt is going to dissolve and no sand is going to stick to our stirring rod. So again we're going to decant which means pour out the salt water, leave behind the sand. All right and so salt water is gone, sand is there, that's the first one for that. going to dissolve has dissolved. We will then decant again. All right, and then the final 15 mils of water. third 15 mils in beaker number two. Alright, so the salt has dissolved. We then decant for the third and final time. So now we put the beaker on the hot plate. I've turned it down. Hopefully there's a less popping on this one. But hopefully it's warm enough to evaporate or boil out the water. All right, so we're in beaker number three. So beaker number three. First round of 15 mils of deionized water, and then decanting. All right, second 15 mil deionized water.
All right, so beaker number one is very dry. Uh, you can tell if you can have the sand go across the bottom of the beaker like this, then you have dry sand. We're going to let that uh, cool to room temperature, then we will weigh it. And you can do this as many times as you want. Uh, three is a good number of times to do it. If you want to do it four times, you can do it four times again. All we're doing is making sure that all of the sand is going to remain in the beaker and all of the salt has dissolved in the water. So again, this is not going to be the amount of the sand. This is all wet. This has water and sand. And so we're going to put it over here. And this one didn't seem to pop, but also didn't seem to dry very well either. All right, so there's a fine line between too hot and you pop things out and uh, not hot enough that you did not uh, get all the water out. Alright, and so it's starting to pop again. Alright, so turn it down a little bit more. Alright, so our beaker here is still hot. It looks very good. As far as the sand uh, going back and forth on the bottom of this beaker, for whatever reason, the, well, maybe because of the heat, uh, it is not doing that for the second one. dry on the bottom but it certainly is not dry when you can see steam on the sides you know for sure that there is water in there we have to get rid of all of the water on the sides on the bottom everywhere in this beaker so we'll want to put that heat up a little bit now that the, most of the water is gone we can uh, crank it up uh, these are pyrex beakers they can take uh, extreme heat they will not crack So our beaker here is now uh, to room temperature. And so we will now get the mass of the beaker and the sand. All right, it's at zero. This is Number one, so the mass of the beaker and the sand is 46.5796. All right, and so now that you have the mass of the empty beaker, and now you have the mass of the beaker and the sand, you can then get the mass of the sand by a simple subtraction. All right, to get the mass of the sample, same thing. We had our unknown sample and the beaker, we also have the mass of the beaker. And so a simple subtraction, you've got the mass of your unknown sample. And so you take the mass of your sand divided by your mass of your unknown sample, multiply by 100, and that will give you the percent of sand. All right, so 
that is run one complete. Number two should be plenty dry by now. All right, so it is plenty dry and plenty hot. Uh, only a little bit of the sand is wiggling back and forth for some reason. I didn't knock it free at the beginning, which caused some problems. The first one got knocked by the water boiling out. Uh, this one I did mix. All right, I don't see any signs of water anywhere, and it's plenty hot. All right, so this one looks like number one, where the sand is loosely going back and forth. All right, so we're going to let uh, these two cool to room temperature. Once we have a mass of those, uh, we have all the data that we need for our calculations. All right, what we could have done is we could have weighed this beaker, and then we could have boiled all the water out, and we could have got the mass of of the of the salt in the salt water all right but we didn't do that because boiling out this much water this much water will take a long time and you thought the salt or the sand popped a little bit the salt would pop like crazy and it gets all over the place so uh, instead of calculating instead of determining by experiment the amount of our salt we are going to get that from uh, our two data points. So we know that the sample has only sand and salt in it. So we know how much the sample weighs. We know how much the salt weighs. We can do the subtraction to get the amount of, of salt. So we know the sand, we know the sample, we can calculate our amount of salt. And hopefully I'm not messing up sand and salt when I talk because, boy, that's easy to do. They both start with S, they both have four letters, and it's easy to, I know what I'm trying to say or what I'm thinking of, but what comes out of my mouth, that could be something different. So uh, if that was the case, I apologize. But your sand is not going to dissolve in water, your salt will dissolve in water. Okay, so this is your salt water. Sand and water is a heterogeneous mixture. The sand does not mix with the water. The salt is a homogeneous, all right? So it's a, it, it dissolves into a homogeneous uh, solution. All right, beaker two is still a little bit too warm, and beaker three is way too warm. All right, I wish there was a better way to cool this. All right, well, what is good news is beaker two is starting to look like I thought it would look with the sand jiggling on the bottom, so that is a good sign. And number three already had that. All right, so two getting there. It's very close. All right, so I'm going to say that this little warm, but not quite room temperature, but only slightly above room temperature. All right, and so we are going to weigh this. All right, the mass 46.61. It's not stopping because it is hot. Uh, it is 46 point six one two five forty six point six one two five and that was for beaker number two all right beaker number three I gotta say beakers one and three look great beaker two I'm not that thrilled about how that one looks all right so again slightly above room temperature so we'll wait a little bit for this to cool and if we were grading on um, a very very specific uh, to make sure that this had zero water left in it you would heat it you would cool it you would weigh it again make sure that it didn't lose any more mass 
uh, from water. All right, but I can visually see that there is zero water. If there's an amount of water in here, it is an insignificant amount of water for our calculations. Uh, but if it were something that was extremely important to get the exact answer to four significant figures, you would want to heat it, cool it, and weigh it again to make sure that all of the water was evaporated. All right. So we are ready for number three. It is on zero, and now our mass is 50.8059. 8059. 50.8059. All right, and so that is all the data that you need for experiment two to find the percent sand and the percent salt.